Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here at Fremont Speedway, it's showtime! 35 laps around Fremont, side by side for the top spot. Tyler Courtney and Cap Henry. Courtney leads him down the back stretch for side by side for third as Justin Peck takes the fifth spot. Tyler Courtney utilizing the middle of the racetrack is going to lead lap number one over Cap Henry, Kale Thomas, Cole Macedo, Justin Peck, and DJ Foos. Trying to get around the 22M of Dan McCarron for Tyler Courtney. Finally does it here on the front stretch as we have 10 laps in the books, 25 to go. And, and Kale Thomas has taken the second spot from Cap Henry. He'll slide up and take it away off of turn number two. Henry goes right back down to the bottom. They're nearly side by side for second into turn four. They almost touch out of turn four, side by side for second as Tyler Courtney picks his way through the lap traffic. Cap Henry takes that second spot right back, but now he's got a pair of lap cars between himself and your leader, Tyler Courtney. As Courtney continues to catfish around the bottom. Here comes Cale Thomas to the middle, nearly coming together with the lap cars. They continue to battle for that second spot. Whoa! Oh boy. Run oh, oh. there goes Cale Thomas over the left rear of the 22M of Dan McCarron. He'll lose valuable real estate. Now Justin Peck closes in on Thomas for third. Battling for that top spot in a battle for a third and three and four. Great battles now, a three-car battle for third. Wow, look at this battle for third. Kale Thomas, Justin Peck, DJ Foose, and Zest Sabo and Cole Macedo are going to join in on the fun. Tyler Courtney is trying to pick up some of these lap cars because Cap Henry has continued to stay glued to the back bumper as we come to 16 to go. Courtney's going to have to find another gear here as he dives through traffic. You look right in front of him, and there are three wide just in front of your leaders there momentarily. Now side by side, a couple of cars ahead. Tyler Courtney can, just cannot break through of this thick lap traffic, Ryan. And they are racing side by side in front of him. He tries to muscle his way around Nate Dussel. Here comes Cap Henry. Henry going to go to the top shelf in one and two. Courtney bobbles on the cushion, or the bottom of the racetrack, excuse me. Wow. Lap traffic going to play in this yellow. one. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Zeb Wise. A top turn number four, and boy, I guarantee Tyler Courtney is breathing a sigh of relief. BWR restart zone brings us back to green through the Cure Speed Shop cone, and a great restart for Cap Henry. And look at the 90, the 49 X of Kill Thomas. He'll shoot to second. Kill Thomas shoots around Cap Henry, move him into the second spot. Brian, his crew chief Brian Kim, and I'll cut his teeth here. A six-time All-Star mechanic of the year lives right outside the racetrack. And he's got the 49X dialed in. And now Justin Peck into the third spot. Peck and Henry racing side by side for a podium spot. Cap Henry and Peck nearly come together. Might have made a little contact there off of turn four. Peck right on the back bumper. Justin Peck stays good to the back bumper. Meanwhile, the second, third, and fourth all over each other. And your leader, Tyler Courtney, pulls away three. Throw a blanket over the three car battle for that second spot. Cap Henry back to second. Fantastic action here at Fremont, side by side for second. Cap Henry takes it right back from Kale Thomas. Cap Henry has settled down, got the car glued to the bottom of the racetrack, but almost a two and a half second lead now for Tyler Courtney in that clean air. Courtney, as there's a big Whoa. move for second, Justin Peck, boy, Brian, the battle for second has been hotly contested. He went from the bottom of the racetrack to the top, past two cars, and then one of them got back around, but now Justin Peck moves in to the second spot. Peck cut his teeth here when he started racing wing 410 sprint cars. Got real fast at the Fremont Speedway. Does he have enough time to catch Tyler Courtney? Can Justin Peck pull the cat out of the hat with one to go? Courtney trying to get around Dan McCarron, pins him through the middle of the racetrack. Peck misses the bottom a little bit, but definitely closing. Final two left-hand turns down into turn three. Justin Peck buries the Duke 13 into turns three and four, but off of turn number four, Tyler Courtney will win the opening round of the Jim and Joanne Ford Classic.